I'm running late. I, uh... Ooh, I want to have this just sitting on the open. Uh, uh, uh. Vlog day 45. My... My, my birthday is on a Wednesday this year? I hope that's enough room for two couches. They better not be like the world's biggest couches. So as you can tell, uh, that's the only one that's left. We used to have reflective panels in all six of these sections to try to reflect the sunlight, keep the temperature down. I am going to try and make, you can tell, like, look. They just ripped apart with the wind. The wind in particular is what shredded them over time. So I'm gonna add some duct tape and washers and then zip tie them and hope that that's enough to keep the wind at bay. Now for the first test, will it actually fit in the door? I only had enough for three, so these two guys are gonna have to get done some other point, but I got the rest of these all nice and reflective. Look at how explosive this styrofoam is. So I'll clean that up and then I'll go get food. Coffee and phone calls and legal paperwork and everything done. It's so much fun being an adult, you know? Reading non-disclosure agreements and... I am on my way to mail a little something to my buddy Nimit and then I'm going to go grab my tripod because I forgot it and then I'm headed to the park for a photo shoot because we are going to shoot Proto 2, a boomerang, which maybe we should talk about a little bit today. Sunglasses, set. Thanks, Pat. Um, all right, I'm off to a photo shoot. Okay, so we're meeting up with uh, my friend Michelle and her son Winston. Karn's gonna be my second shooter and hopefully doing a little bit of video. And then my buddy John is gonna do the principal photography, which should be amazing. He does photography for the laundry room, a clothing company that he owns, which he's amazing. Great photographer. So boomerang. Boomerang is a Bluetooth bracelet for kids that lets you know if they get too far away. So it's like having mobile boundaries. You strap this on your kid, it automatically detects the presence of skin so it knows whether or not it's on your child, activates, and then if they get too far away, sets off an alarm on your phone and another one on the bracelet so you can hear where they are. So this is our second prototype. Um, it's just the housing. The circuitry is actually just arriving in San Diego right now with our uh, electronics technician, Cody. He's going to be sending me the complete second prototype with a pink band by the end of the week. And then we should be able to do some more photos with that once we have it. And then I have some meetings next week that are really exciting that I can't talk about yet. Um, but we're really looking forward to some incredible partnerships that are opening up. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. So we're going to go do some photos right now. 
and then we're off to my first birthday dinner, the one with my family, and it'll be glorious. The uh, only potential complication to this, well, there are obviously always potential complications, but the only striking complication that could happen at this point is that the park is full of Pokemon hunters. So who knows what our background is gonna look like. This kid is awesome. So much energy. Speedy little guy. Crazy. So anyways, this is going super well. Uh, we should hopefully be able to wrap it up fairly soon and then head to dinner, which would be great because I'm apparently, I'm very hungry. Dinner with the family, and then we're good. Oh, we're on our way to dinner, uh, but there were Pokemon. And I'm the only one that failed to get, the, was it a Golbat? I'm the only one that failed to get it. Yeah. I'm the worst Pokemon player of my family. <laughs> Got pizza. We, we lost them, but that's okay. We got the pizza in the interim. Pokemon is a very important family activity. We have beer. Dinner done. Vlog done too.